hello guys welcome again to today's video i hope people are doing very well so on today's video i'm talking about uh, pig farming versus cattle farming so if this is your first time coming to this channel make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed yet make sure you subscribe so i'm not at the farm today i'm in my i'm in my room so um uh, but i'm still going to make the video though so if you are familiar with my channel you know that i talk about a lot of things here life talk and business and other things and if you are if you are familiar with my videos i basically raise uh, goats cattle and pigs at my farm so today we are going to look at pig farming versus cattle farming because people have been asking me this question which one should i get into which one has more profits which one is easier to do and the rest so this is like a video about those things comparing these two farming livestock aspects now for the pig i'm going to compare this thing in these two livestock ventures in five categories the first one is buying mature stock per head buying cost of buying mature stock per head housing for each of them feeding demand and profits per head of each animal now like you all know pig farming has its own ways cat farming is also different and has its own ways the major difference between pig farming and cat farming is that Cattles, cattle, sorry, cattle give birth to us and only one calf per calving. Whereas pig can give, pigs can give birth up to 15, 12, 13, and the rest. And they can give birth two times in a year. But this comparison is going to be per head, per head. One pig on one cattle, because on one cow, one pig on one cow, because I'll be looking at mostly the cost of raising one the cost of raising this one and the profit per head so the fact that, the fact that this one multiplies faster would come would be an issue here would be an issue here because what this video is basically about is raising them from from little to mature and selling them and selling them off and which one you have to make more money from so buying mature stock per head that's the first category we are going to look at the cost of buying a okay I'm going to do this video in such a way that you know we you I will assume that you are going to buy a calf, a small calf, and raise it to maturity and sell off. I'm going to also assume that you are going to buy a small piglet and sell it to maturity and sell off. Now, what is going to be the profit after you have done all these things? Buying a match buying a a wind piglet here in Nigeria, because I'm going to use Nigeria as a case study. If you're in another country, I think you should convert, you should know, you should know the price of uh, of the same animals in your country. And you can, you know, apply the whole mathematics to it. Now, the cost of buying a piglet here in Nigeria, a piglet, depending on the breed, because piglets are sold, either you, want, you are going for hybrids or for pure breed. But I'm going to use the one most people are into, which is the hybrid. Now, the hybrid piglets in Nigeria, which usually weigh 10 kg or more, are sold for 10,000 naira. 10,000 naira. Now, calves, calves, that's the new, the wind cattle. Without it, the cost of buying a calf in Nigeria is 8,000 naira. We had, whereas the cost of buying a pig, a winner pig in Nigeria is 10,000 naira. Now that is for the buying of stock per head. Now the next thing is housing. If you're talking about housing a pig, uh, housing a calf, calves can easily stay in the open space. I raise cattle, so and hardly do my calf cattle even like entering to their shade. I, I consolidated a shade for them, but they hardly get there unless is uh, there is too much sun. And, and cattle love rain they love rain and you know the weather hardly affect them because i know that i know most farmers who leave their cattle on the field without shade all year and they hardly record mortalities they don't even record mortality so cattle can easily stay in the open shade now if you are going if you are going to get into cattle farming in large corn in large scale that means you are going to spend virtually nothing on housing whereas if you are going to pigs into pig farming on a large scale they are going to spend a lot of money constructing their pig houses. Their pig houses because it's very important. Because pigs 
don't like too much sun and uh, little peaks can easily be affected by cold weather so they require housing proper housing now the next thing is feeding as you all know cattle don't eat that much that's one thing I that was that's one thing I, love, I like about them they don't they require feed you buying feed the highest thing I can buy as a cattle farmer right now is supplements and the supplements is not required that much because they still grow if they feed on the grass consistently so cattle don't require that much uh, of feeding you know you virtually spend nothing on feeding even medication they hardly get sick so they don't you don't spend much on feeding and medication whereas for the pigs pigs you have to be buying for them feed even if it's waste even if it's chaff even if it's corn soya beans you are still going to be spending money buying it because there's no place they manufacture pig feed for free so you have to be buying it for them and their medication is also much more than the cattle because a piglet has to be given iron it has to be given antibiotics and the rest once in a while you deworm it and all those things so it is also cost uh, costly so in terms of feeding and medication pigs require more while cattle require less in terms of housing too pigs require more while cattle require less now the next thing we are going to look at is demand in nigeria here there's more demand for cattle because almost not even almost every tribe in nigeria eats beef there's nobody who doesn't have who have not tested beef before in their life but pigs when it comes to pork the muslims like you all don't eat pork and muslims make up to 45 percent of nigeria's population so it's a huge market gap when you compare the two because cattle all everybody is 100 percent of nigeria citizens eat it whereas for the pork only about 50 to 55 percent consume it so there's a market gap between these two now after looking at all these things you'll be like what is now my pro what is now my profit should i raise pig pigs or should i raise cattle now if i'm going to be honest with you there is much profit per head per head when you're selling a mature cow cattle when you're selling a mature cow or bull compared to a pig because in that pig you have spent money buying food you have spent money buying medication you have spent money buying a lot of things just you have spent, also, also spent money building the housing for the pigs so there is more expenses in pig farming when compared to cat farming the only threatens you, you can do in cat farming is to get someone that will not be heading them that is a, a fluent hair man or a worker that will be taking them out to eat and taking them back next thing is water water can be found anywhere water can be found anywhere the next thing is made and cats don't require that much medication they don't require that much medication so it's cost effective is there's not much expenses on it unlike when you compare it to the pigs pigs require water they require medication you have to buy feed balanced diet you have to buy balanced diet before you get them up to to a reasonable weight so for me if you want to the only reason the only main reason why it's always as if that pigs are better than other livestock is that they multiply fast but don't also forget as they are multiplying fast you have to also feed them unless you are selling the piglets but if you are raising them to maturity you have to feed them you have to feed them so but if you compare them per head i don't know if people understand what i'm saying if you compare them per head in terms of profit which one to raise one cow to maturity to raise one pig to maturity you put more in one cow to raise it okay let me imagine that you have to raise a piglet in a year's time and you buy a calf and you have to raise it in a, in a year's time okay at, at winning a piglet might weigh 10 kg and in the next 10 months that's to make it one year the piglet if you feed it very well and mind you feeding a pig very well requires much capital so if you are feeding it very well let's say in 10 months it reaches 100 kg you start it by kg maybe you may realize Hundred thousand naira. Now you buy a calf. You buy a calf. You feed it. Okay, let me assure you. Buy a calf. Uh, at hundred thousand naira. You don't spend anything again. Because almost everything is going to eat is free. It's grass. Grass is everywhere. Now after about ten months, you take it to the market. I sell it for two hundred fifty thousand. You have made gains of one hundred fifty thousand naira. 
let's imagine you minus paying the headsman, paying this one, other his latest versus at the end of the day, you could still have 100,000 naira profit. But for the peak, okay, now they are selling, uh, okay, let me assume that the peak that weighs 100 kg, you sell it for 100,000 naira. If you sell it at 100,000, mind you spent a lot of money on feeding, you spent a lot of money on medication, so the profit will not be as much as that cattle as the cow you sold. So per head, when you're comparing per head, cattle has more profits than, than pigs. But the, but the only difference is now that if you're raising pigs in large quantity, they multiply faster, but you also have to feed them. Imagine if, you, if I had 200 pigs now, and I had 200 cows, and I raised them to majority, I'll make more money in cattle. The only difference is that if I now leave the pigs to be given birth, within one year, <laughs> I, will, I might be having thousands of pigs, but I still have to feed them. I also have to feed them. So you got what I'm saying now. So cattle, by head wise, cattle has more profits than pigs. So thank you for watching this video. And uh, you can always subscribe. You can, sorry, you can always get into anywhere you like. But like always, they are all good and they're all still making money. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, and make sure you keep on watching this channel. Thank you.